the only thing that's going to change things, and we all know this really in our hearts, is if we start winning on the pitch. Are you prepared, to tr again, to try and help move things forward, to disband the FPG and recognise BST as the true representatives of all BFC fans? <laughs> so the, qu the, the, quest the, si the question's a simple one. The, I'll answer that. The answer is no. There's one thing for certain, there's one thing for certain, after I've heard the, the uh, heartfelt feelings and the depth of feelings here today, if we don't resolve this issue, if we don't find a way forward, we, we'll be playing in non-league football in the near future. If we're going to move forward, you need to recognise where the issues are. He referred to Carl as a lost leader and deal with the issue. If we don't deal with these issues, Owen... There is no way forward. Do you not think, if, if we make mistakes, if we make mistakes in the football club, we've made many. Yeah. I, I accept that. We've apologised for them. And we've also had great success. It has to be acknowledged as well. But you, you, you by your own words, Owen, have recognised that unless the fans start coming back through the door, we're likely to go non-league. So you, you're... No, no we I didn't can't say that. I didn't say not. that. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's put me off is the price because it is still quite expensive as a disabled veteran, but also because of the animosity that's going on in the crowd. Now I am going to miss my Saturdays at Bloomfield Road watching the game because of everything that's going on. Yeah. And I don't know where I'm going to end up with my PTSD because I can't go there and get rid of my stresses because of everything that's happening and it shouldn't be happening we should be able to go to the football games and enjoy ourselves and watch our team I'm so and at sorry the moment to hear we that. can't I'm, really, I'm so sorry to hear that the net asset value today for blackpool football club and the net asset value is the net value of it after all the costs is 38.7 million pounds at cost right can, can we move on to the next question yeah. please so we have we, we have an asset value and next year looking around this room there's going to be no fans supporting this team with this fantastic asset value what you what you so in is a cash rich football club with no fans well Huge sums of money have gone into creating this football club as it is today. This football club today is a modern football club fit for purpose. It's got this massive net asset value. It's an amazing place, I think. I'm proud of what we've achieved to build it. We built it with the money that came partly from the Premier League and partly from Oyston money. Oyston money before the football club, the football club and the and the and suggest to the parent companies were skint for 25 years, totally skint. But with respect, Owen, that we, we've we've had oh, by conservative estimates 80 million and, and some would say more come into the football club as a result of that elevation to the premiership. Putting all that aside, we, we have we, we have we have a club that has an asset value of 40 million, but for the people around this room. What, where is the tangible legacy for the Premiership promotion? And I put it to you that there isn't any. Because in, in point of fact, I think we're lower in the league than we were when you took the club over. What, what, what the question that's posed from the floor is, do you acknowledge that the major rift between yourself and your family and the vast majority of the people in this room and the wider Blackpool fans base is caused by the pursuit of supporters for damages through the civil courts. Now, I would stress, to, I would like to add, and obviously I have a 
slight vested interest in this, that we're not talking about specifics. We're not talking about specifics. It's the principle, Owen. Do you recognise the damage that that has done to our football club? Yes, and I do. Yeah, and I do. And, now, and what I would say is on the basis of that, that what, what, the, what the people in this room want you to say, hopefully, is that this is going to stop. And we're looking for you to give an undertaking to the people in this room that all existing litigation and all threats of future litigation w will stop because we can never, ever move forward until it does. The basis, on the basis of litigation, you will know by now that we've had no litigation in recent times. We have stopped litigating. So I've, I've also, well, let me finish. I've also tried to use my influence to bring the existing actions to a close by negotiating a conclusion to them as quickly as possible. It's in everybody's interest for that to happen. The vast majority of people who came on the pitch will not be sued or litigated against. But we, we do have a problem here.